My name is Billy Watterson and we are in Cleveland, Georgia at Pleasant Valley Falls. When I traveled to France back in 2013, I was at Mount St. Michel, the top of Mount St. Michel on this island. Uh, There's a massive fireplace and I was like, someday, someday I'm gonna build that, but I don't know where. And when we bought this property a couple years ago, I knew that this was going to be the spot. The idea behind this barn really is to have a place for my large family to gather, to hang out. It's really a legacy project. We are working on a timber frame event barn. This is our Nantucket model featuring all dug fir timbers and clear span truss bent design. The Nantucket is designed in a way that it can be bigger and wider and more open than our other models of barns. The truss design allows for a greater span between posts and allows you to open up the whole center of the barn. One thing about these timber frame barns, you can look at all the pictures, all the plans, all the renderings. You never understand the magnitude of them until you get out here. This particular barn has a huge fireplace in the middle of it. We have to be very precise with everything. Every timber and cut that we do has to be very precise. Lined right next to the chimney, it's only inches away. Precision is key here in this build. I did a lot of online searching and I kept coming back to the barnyard. They had a diverse portfolio of projects they'd already done, which was nice to see. They also had an impressive array of actual models to pick from with the ability to customize. When the plans and the frames and the buildings are designed, everything is, is done in CAD work, a 3D modeling software. And then it gets translated into basically a code for the CNC machine. And it'll have all the dovetail pockets and dovetails and mortise and tenons figured out and, and calculated into that. And then it gets ordered as material and brought to our shop. Our machines are five axis CNC machines. They have a, a dual cutter head. One end is essentially a big saw blade that'll make all of our straight cuts, all of our angled cuts. And the other side is a router bit, essentially, that has an interchangeable tool bank. And it'll make all the fancier cuts, all the dovetail pockets with a 45 degree chamfer on them or you know, all the hole drillings. After the timbers come out of the CNC machine, they get sanded and then packaged up and ready to ship. I think people pick timber frame barns instead of just a normal stick frame because they're very unique. And I think everyone likes to go back to the old days and take a piece of that and bring that into today's time. Another thing is they're just so beautiful. You look at this, there's no exposed fasteners, there's no nothing, it's just wood, plain and simple. It's an awesome experience, to say the least, to watch something go from a concept on a napkin to a 3D model to cut in our shop on our CNC machines and then physically putting it together. It's a lot bigger in real life and there's just nothing more amazing than watching these frames go up. It's a old traditional way of building with a new twist on it. You know, there's nothing like seeing the, the heft of the, these timbers and watching these men work the way they work. I mean, seven to seven every day. Watching them actually build that first big piece and raise it was pretty monumental. It's fantastic to work with these guys. They're hard workers, they're the best timber framers around, and they're dedicated to their jobs and they love what they do. They, uh, they traveled all the way down from New England just to put this frame up. It's always a thought at the end of every project. What's the homeowner gonna think, right? They saw it on a piece of paper, now it's real life. I talked to Billy a little while ago and he's just amazed, really. He can't believe how big it is, how beautiful it is and that him and his family are gonna be able to spend quality time out here, you know, on cold nights with that big fireplace, the timbers all around them, and it feels like home. When I reached out to the barnyard, I knew right away that they were the crew I was gonna go with. After all the research and everything that we had done, the barnyard stood out as the best fit for this project. It's the structural, it's the architectural, the beauty, um, but at the end of the day, it's just sexy. You can put a barn up, but man, this is just sexy. And uh, there's no two ways about it. You get what you pay for, and frankly, it'll be here a long time after I'm gone. It turned out beautifully. It's a monster. And my kids are even saying, 
this is where we're gonna have our Christmas pictures. 